Welcome back to SolidWorks and NC Tutor YouTube channel. Before starting the video, if you are new and haven't subscribed our channel, press the subscribe button. In this SolidWorks simulation tutorial, we are going to learn about the frequency analysis. So first of all, let me explain you uh, about the frequency analysis. That why we uh, use frequency analysis. Structure have preferred frequencies of vibration called resonant frequencies. A mode of vibration is the shape in which a structure will vibrate at a given natural frequency. So basically in frequency analysis we found that uh, how the structure will behave and what will be the mode shape with the given natural frequency. The only factor controlling the amplitude of vibration in resonance is damping. So the only thing which can control the amplitude of vibration is damper or damping by which we can uh, decrease the amplitude of vibration. While any structure has an infinite number of resonant frequencies and associated modes of vibration, only a few of the lowest modes are important when analyzing response to dynamic loading. A frequency analysis is used to calculate these resonant frequencies and their associated modes of vibrations. So in this tutorial, we are going to find the resonant frequencies and their associated modes of vibration. So this is the model of the tuning fork, These, uh, it have two plunges and this is the base. So we will fix this uh, ball as you can see that it shows that we have holded this uh, tuning fork with two fingers. So this is the uh, formula for frequency of tuning force f is equal to 1.875 square by 2 pi l square under root e i by rho a. So the f is the frequency and L is the length of plunges in meters like this from here to here this is the length of the one plunge and E is the Young modulus I is equal to second moment of inertia of cross section and rho is equal to density of the material uh, we are going to use A is equal to cross section of the times in square meters. So let us start our analysis uh, this is the turning fork. Uh, we have made in SOLIDWORKS if you uh, want the geometry uh, for the practice of this simulation just comment and we will provide you the geometry so this uh, uh, body is made with chrome stainless steel now we will do the simulation give some uh, simply go to SOLIDWORKS add-ins and select SOLIDWORKS simulation uh, premium professional from here after that we will got the tab of simulation from here go to new study so in new study you have uh, static and frequency analysis in general simulation so we are going to use frequency from here and uh, from here you can replace the name of the project like this select ok from here so here we have the geometry of tuning force as you can see that this is a check mark here it means that our material has been applied and this white color means that it is the solid geometry if you want to treat it as beam or treat it as remote mass you can uh, select it from here i have made the uh, simulation tutorials on sheet metal and treat it as beam you can watch them from our description so now just simply go to the properties from here and in properties you can give it the number of frequencies you want to find like we are going to find the five frequencies uh, so we have give it the five number so select ok from here now simply go to fixed geometry and as i have told you that we are going to fix this sphere because we are going to hold it with two fingers and we are going to find the vibrations and um, mode shape so select ok from here now we will simply create the mesh so our geometry is not so much complicated therefore we can use the default mesh so but i will tell you that what are the mesh parameters here so there are different type of mesh standard mesh curvature base mesh and blended curvature base mesh in blended curvature base mesh there is a uh, option of calculate minimum element size so it will automatically calculate that what minimum element size will be suitable for your geometry. So here we have the minimum element size value of 1.6. Now select OK from here and you can see that the 
value has been applied so if you want to refine your mesh more you can refine it from here but i am going with 1.6 mm element size so select ok from here and your mesh has been created so once your mesh is created just simply go to create mesh quality plot to analyze your mesh you can analyze your mesh from here you can analyze aspect ratio and jacobian ratio so if i am going to select aspect ratio select ok from here and now you can see the highest aspect ratio we are getting is 8.9 and the lowest is 1 so this is the area which is showing that these elements have higher aspect ratio so the maximum aspect ratio is at this phase so now we will go to details from here and we will see that what percentage of our element with aspect ratio less than 3 is so the aspect ratio less than 3 is 99.3% which is ok and you can also uh, see the maximum size mesh quality and total nodes and total elements from the mesh details so this was all about the meshing so now we will simply go to run this study and we will analyze our geometry so once your frequency analysis uh, has been completed you can find that we have got the five results one two three four and five so these are the amplitudes like these are this is the mode shape one and this is the mode shape two from here you can see this is mode shape two and these are the amplitude the maximum amplitude is on the uh, highest point of these ranges. So from here you can see the frequencies. So the mode shape 2 value is equal to 216.63 Hz. And the first mode shape has the frequency of 215.76 Hz. So these are the mode shapes. You can also animate this from here like this so you can analyze the mode shape so this is the mode shape 3 like this select ok uh, like this we have five mode shapes you can analyze this according to your study so if you want to list the resonant frequencies you can right click on the results and from here you can list the resonant frequencies so from here you can see that these are the frequencies from 215 to 1568 and also the frequency in radian per second and select and you can also find the time period from here select close, close from here so if you want to compare the modes you can compare modes from here select two modes up to maximum of four to compare and select ok So now you can compare your two modes like this. Thank you for watching. Keep supporting and keep sharing our channel for more interesting.